I just want to take a few minutes and just say thank you. Uh, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your financial support. Your financial support has allowed us to go to really the ends of the earth this year to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ in some unique places. You know, this time last year, Ukraine really wasn't on our radar. I had preached in Lviv, preached in Kyiv. Lo and behold, the war breaks out. And so much of our focus this year was helping the Ukrainian people, and especially with our chaplains. As Samaritan's Purse was handing out food and blankets and, and medicine, our chaplains were ministering in Jesus' name. And so we've been working in the Ukraine, and we'll be continuing to work in the Ukraine. It's so sad what's happened in that country. But yet, in the middle of this, we have an opportunity to preach and proclaim the gospel. And of course, at Easter, the privilege to be able to preach an Easter message from Lviv that was broadcast on Fox News. And then from there, we started a tour through England. And we went to Liverpool. And Liverpool was packed and with hundreds of people responding to the invitation to give their lives to Christ. Down to Cardiff, packed there in Cardiff, people got saved. From there, we went up to Sheffield. And in London, God just opened up an incredible door of opportunity to preach the gospel. And we're looking at going back to the UK and, and back to London next year. And then later, I went to Rio de Janeiro, and we preached the gospel there on the beach, pouring rain. People stood out there for hours, 60-some thousand people heard the gospel, and thousands made decisions for Christ. From Rio, we went to Mongolia, of all places to think that uh, Mongolia would open up the door to the preaching of the gospel. And again, we saw people get saved in Mongolia. Many hundreds and hundreds of Mongolians gave their hearts to Jesus Christ. So then we had a U.S. tour. We went to Allentown, Pennsylvania, York, Pennsylvania, Youngstown, Ohio, Flint, Michigan, Waukesha, Wisconsin, and finished in Rochester, Minnesota. And every one of these stops, people were saved. People stood by the hundreds uh, to ask Christ into the hearts, into their lives. And from there, we went to Milan, Italy. First time the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association has ever been to Italy to preach and proclaim the gospel. It's been closed, but because of Samaritan's Purse and the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association's work helping the victims of COVID there in Cremona and Lombardy State, God opened up a door and we were invited to come to Milan to preach. Just so many thousands of people showed up. God just blessed. And then from there, we went to New Zealand and we went to Christ Church, Wellington, the capital, then Auckland, New Zealand, everywhere we went sharing the love of Jesus Christ and doing it in Jesus' name. And I just want to come to the end of this year to say thank you. We got a full schedule for next year. Things could change and, and all of a sudden new doors would open up. And if a new door opens up, we're going. But we couldn't do this if it wasn't for God using you to help us. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for ministering. Thank you for prayers. Thank you for your support. And I just say, God bless each and every one of you as we go into this new year. There will be many challenges, I know, but we hope that we stand for the gospel. And we're not going to back up. I'm not going to apologize for the cross. I'm not going to apologize that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. I'm, I'm going to proclaim it. That's what we do. We want to proclaim to people that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shouldn't perish, but should have everlasting life. So thank you and God bless each and every one.